universities and not just universities getting involved in their regions, is now an important area for strengthening regional and city economies. I just want to push down to this notion of smart cities, which we've already talked about. I don't want to go a definition of the smart city because basically, uh, as you can see there, I've taken this from Smart Planet. I don't know if many people are aware of Smart Planet, but this is their view of the smart city with ICT, energy, economy, sustainability, and this is what I call this sort of a planning, attractive, attractiveness sort of relationship. But I put that in the middle, and in the middle you'll see that's a nice picture of the day you made, right, which is there, uh, which is part of it. And so universities, in a way, are really part and center of that smart area of, you know, of the city, because they are, can be involved in all of those areas. And there are two key things that are coming up in European perspective on this. Is that on one side, you've got this new Smart Cities and Communities EIP. This is this European Innovation Partnership. Uh, and this is about pooling research resources from energy transfer and ICT. And interestingly enough, this is more or less led from DG MOVE. So it's move, being led from the transport side, not necessarily the ICT side. But on the other side, you've also got this joint programming initiative. And this is where member states are coming together to work on this idea of urban Europe. And this is looking at exploiting synergies from an economic, social, environmental, and transport related perspective. So we've got two initiatives coming together now, smart cities on one side and this urban Europe on the other. So these are quite important areas. And of course, we've, we've just got underneath there is you've got to link this also to this new important buzzword, which of course has already been mentioned by now, so this is smart specialization on that level. So I'm going to sort of come back to smart specialization in a moment. But I was asked really to refer to, oh, just before I get to that, I just want to talk a little bit about this smart cities philosophy, where it's coming from. Is because one of the things that Bas mentioned was that he saw this was an ICT driven, uh, and initially it was ICT driven, but in the European policy perspective, it's been much more driven by energy. So energy has been the key driver, and it's mainly ICT in a way is coming on at the end. And so I think you can see that this is the smart cities industrial initiative. This is all about this strategic environmental, uh, the sustainable, in, in, sorry, the uh, SET plan, which is strategic energy technology plan, which was really the driver of this smart city initiative on that level. I'm just going to mention two guys of this university business collaboration which I'm not going to talk about too much because you can get them off the web and it's on my presentation the web links. One is on 30 good practices of case studies of university business and the other one is one that's coming under the smart specialization platform which is connecting universities to regional growth a practical time. I'll just say a few words about both of those initially now. The first one looks at this university business collaboration. It comes up with a very simple model of the stakeholders who are really this triple helix about universities. Universities both on two sides, both on the academic side, but also on the administration and management side, which is important. Governments, which are from the national, regional, local, and then there's the business community, which of course can either be corporates or SMEs or wherever on there. And then through the four pillars, which are either strategies, structures, uh, activities, or framework conditions, collaboration, <coughs> and then this, this type of university business collaboration is listed. And the types of things that they're looking at is the things that we've just been talking about, is entrepreneurship, curriculum development, which comes through our four C cities, mobility of academics, R&D, mobility of students, governance, lifelong learning, and particularly, much more interesting now for Europe, is this commercialization of R&D results. That's a much more important area for that. So these are the sort of types 